I think I'm, I'm, this is stream of consciousness stuff, really. But you know, when it first came through, I thought, well, this is I've never seen anything quite like it, right? Um, that's your first thing. And uh, before the foyer here was a pretty gloomy place. Now it's much, well, much more light, but much more, much more interesting. Much more you can, you know, you can sit in the uh, visitors can come in and look around at the murals and think, well, what, what's that? doing there you know the other thing I, I've noticed too is the Nina Mani you know welcome uh, the uh, Ghana welcome that's on the doors and I'm thinking well you know people part of um, dealing with Aboriginal culture is very few people actually deal with Aboriginal people so they see them and you know in, in uh, welcome to country and all that sort of stuff but having it as a sort of party workplace forces you to sort of ask questions about, well, okay, Nina Marty, I should know what that, what's the response? I don't know, but I find out, you know, so what do these, what do these paintings mean? Some of them are fairly uh, more traditional, others of, of landscape and uh, is, a, is a, you know, different vision altogether. My interest in being involved with the project was uh, not just cheap old, but by and large, public sector spaces, offices, um, stock stand, colour schemes, quite ugly. Um, no life to them other than the odd pop phone here or there. And the idea of getting, um, getting imagery that reflects, shows um, uh, and, and respects Aboriginal cultures across the state. So how this came about was an idea to create a level of awareness uh, and understanding not only to our internal staff but all those visitors that came to our offices. Uh, I thought it was important that they were aware of the diversity that exists in South Australia and the significance of Aboriginal culture in today's society. Um, well, I have a lot of meetings up here. I bring clients up here, so external customers into the building, and they um, they often say, "Oh, wow, it's so bright, and it, it's just a really good enhancement to the building." I think, particularly with these murals on the wall, um, my favourite room. Um, so yeah, it's actually been a really good investment for the department, and it's a really good base for the department. On top of that, it's obviously external. I think from an internal staff point of view, we've been coming up here using these rooms um, fairly large and I guess fresh. Um, for staffing, um, large staff meetings yeah. and just coming in and it's got that non-corporate sort of feel so it actually just helps with that brainstorming, um, thinking a little bit differently. I've moved out from the UK though, originally I grew up in South Australia but um, coming back to South Australia and working with Oka Dawn to understand a different way we can um, present messaging for South Australia um, was a real inspiration for me and the experience overall was uh, an absolute massive positive and uh, you know just even um, being part of something like this has been an absolute um, cherry on the top of my career. I must admit I think that the reception uh, upgrade has just been perfect. Both I'm a pragmatist you know, and reception is a practical area. Uh, I think that um, it works so much better. We've got much big, bigger rooms, much better equipped rooms, um, but the actual look of reception is stunning. And, you know, Nathan and Donna, who are the principals um, that put the accommodation project together, uh, have done themselves proud. It's fantastic. People love the films on the windows that um, say of the lands that the um, names are and you know that's interesting for people because a lot of people understand Aboriginal people are connected to their land but this actually puts a picture there and says this is what can be connected to. Within the department they've, we've had really good positive um, feedback and um, people really have that connection, it shows that commitment to the Aboriginal community and also the feeling that I've, um, or the response that I've had from staff uh, is that it's really a celebration of diversity and that commitment that the agency shows to building those positive relationships with the Aboriginal community. How does it make me feel like, well it, it's, it, 
makes you feel great when there's an effect when the um, elevator doors open and you're confronted first by this white space and, the, and then the colours and then you, you see these colours on the, you know, in the, the glass and then you realise that actually some of them are places that you know and um, places where you've spent some lovely times and you're not in a stark corporate office anymore. So it, it makes you feel great when you're walking into the area. What's been encouraging uh, for us is having staff in this building come up and say, I didn't know that, I wasn't aware of that. That's really interesting. So for people that haven't had the exposure and the experience of working with Aboriginal people, it's definitely hit the mark in terms of educating people and creating a greater understanding and awareness. So I want to say that I encourage all agencies and organisations to get on board because it really um, builds strong relationships within the agency about understanding diversity, understanding the Aboriginal community um, and it really, as I said earlier, brings together a um, celebration of diversity.